Section 5, speed her up, 4 1. It seems funny today, but some people still think of manufacturing like this. Long hours, doing the same thing over and over again. If you think of manufacturing this way, there's a lot you should know. Manufacturing today is computer integrated, robotics, and statistical process control. It's skilled workers managing quality. It's an innovator who can figure out how things can be done better. I'm Brent Shermer. When I started in manufacturing 10 years ago, I started on this machine. Now I'm a manager and have literally traveled all over the world. Manufacturing has a lot to offer. I'd like you to meet some of the people who have made manufacturing their career. Steve started in manufacturing right out of high school. While working as a machine operator, he decided to get more training. Today, he's a machinist. You know, there's a lot of satisfaction when it all goes together and everything works and you, it goes out the door and you hear word that everything's working good and, and you did a good job. That's, there's a lot of satisfaction in that. Christy was a waitress before getting into manufacturing. She saw the pay scale and the benefits and decided to apply. She was hired the next day. Because the person has to change their attitude and think, I want to be the best, you know, at this. And in order to do that, then you got to take pride in yourself to make quality work, you know. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> Mitch, he's a welder. Well, I'd done everything else out here except welding, and uh, I just decided I wanted to learn how to weld because it was a pay raise. So in my break times, I come over and I picked up a welder, started tinkering around with it. Next thing I know, there was 10 guys there trying to tell me how to do it. So I just took off from there. I learned how to weld on my own spare time. The best part about manufacturing is the number of jobs available right now. In Hastings, there are over 200 industries that need welders, machine operators, and machinists. In fact, the number is expanding all the time. The Hastings Job Service says industry needs people for over 500 jobs each year, and in some plants you could start today. Starting pay can be as high as $7 an hour, and there's an opportunity for even higher wages. Some industries pay up to $15 an hour for people with advanced training or experience. The dollars you earn depend on what you bring to the job. The kind of people that you're really looking for are, are those that have their eyes on the future. Those that understand that uh, we're here today, but next week or next month or next year or five years from now, uh, we will be better employees because we've taken the time to learn. We believe in team concepts. We believe in small groups working together, working on a problem, solving that problem, making the proper decision on, on that problem. Because our feeling is that there's no one in the workforce who can do the job better than the person that's doing it. Industry touches every part of your life. Right here in Hastings, we make everything from oil cans to motorboats, the smallest gauges to complete irrigation systems. If we don't make the product, we make the part that makes the product work. Things work because people in manufacturing want their products to be the best. You have to be creative to come up with 
faster ways of doing stuff and and uh, ways to make the the quality better and not increase the time. It's it's a real challenge to try to keep a a good good weld. It's it's you know without burning through and it's just I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I to make sure I have good quality parts that I put out on my machines and I want to make sure that they are quality parts when I do box them off so that they don't come back on the company, you know. And as a machine operator, Christy is on the front line of industry. Statistical process control lets you play a major role in product quality. You have to think, how can I make my machine go faster? How can I make better parts? Um, you always have to think, you know, on, you know, how am I going to do this different today than what I did yesterday. Innovation is another key ingredient because you'll work on a variety of jobs. You never quit learning. You know, you may think you have it all figured out and then the next thing you know, here comes something that out of the blue and it's like starting all over again, you know. It's just a never ending process of learning, I think. It's like an art as far as I'm concerned. You're pretty much always working against the clock, you know, and in a, a small mistake can mean, you know, several hundred dollars or even more. You need high school math and reading skills and your mechanical skills could qualify you for a job right now. It's, it's more and more important that people begin to pay attention to what they're doing for the eight hours, not, not just be here to collect their check, but to be here to, to do the job and do the job right. Uh, it's important to take the responsibility for what they're doing think about what they're doing so that they can learn to to do it better. When training machinists, Central Community College instructor Gary Mall says students study advanced mathematics, metallurgy, computer design, and numerical control. Uh, we're getting into a lot of electronics in this in this field and it's more than just being a machine operator. We need people that are experienced in uh, pneumatics and uh, electronics, along with the basic operations of the, of the machine tools. That beat just like that. That should give you a nice, smooth surface, okay? All right. Okay, give her a try. Instructor Latham Mortensen says welding is extremely important in the manufacturing process. Uh, Hand-eye coordination, depth perception, uh, mechanical aptitude is good. Uh, we like to think of welding as an art, so uh, you have to be kind of an artist and, and have to take uh, pride in your work. And, and if you do a good weld and uh, you want to brush it off and buff it off and show everybody you did it, well, then you're a good welder. And in many cases, local manufacturers pay for this advanced training. As in any profession, your paycheck reflects your level of experience and knowledge. Ask your career counselor to help you visit a plant to see the opportunity for yourself. Visit the training facilities in Hastings. So you have to advance, you know, like I said, it changes every day, things are changing and so in order to keep up with that, you got to keep going to school. For me, I, I see a uh getting into the computer controlled equipment and I think that's the trend and I think five years from now that'll be the difference between a primitive shop and, a, and an up-to-date shop is the type of CNC equipment it has. Well I'd like to get my own shop going someday. Get certified and get my own shop going and maybe start a business of my own and I figured the only way I'm going to do that is, is to work a job for a while and get good enough and feel secure enough at what I'm doing to be able to do that. Jobs are available right now. Good jobs with good wages and benefits. The good life. Take advantage of the opportunity with Hastings Manufacturing.